Hey guys, me Bard here. So, today's video. Today's video is going to be a bit different. It's going to be for a project that I'm doing at school, so I'm just going to roll into it. So, if you don't know, I'm Tiana. Um, I find the ocean and animals very interesting, so the line of work I want to go into is marine biology. A little bit about that is what first got me interested was the fact that, well, it was a family trip to SeaWorld. Nope, Disney World. <laughs> where we went to SeaWorld and we ended up, I ended up getting to meet a uh, SeaWorld trainer right before the Believe show um, which featured Shemu um, and I got a picture with her, talked with her and then a good, well, a few years later, I hear from my mom that she died. Which brings me to the topic of uh, who my person is. So I did Don Brancho. She was born in Cedar Lake, Indiana and died in 2000 okay date slips my mind um anyway she died at SeaWorld during a dining with Shamu show from blunt force trauma and drowning there were witnesses who said that A whale, an, an orca named Tilikum, dragged her into the water by her ponytail, which coincides with um, scalp, uh, with, sorry, <laughs> with uh, scars on her scalp that were found. She... She was considered the face of SeaWorld. They, she was their poster girl. She inspired many, many people to be the best they could and inspired me when I was younger to follow my dream of being a dolphin trainer which broadened out to be marine biology. I think she influenced that uh, that career by mostly from her death because after her death they changed SeaWorld changed a lot of their safety and uh, procedures so that the uh, people who attend and their own staff can be safe around animals such as the orcas. And afterwards, after Don Brancho died, Tilikum, the whale, uh, orca, was moved to a solitary uh, medical bay for his safety and peepers, pe people's safety. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot talk tonight. Anyway, um... Basically, one thing that changed was the fact that uh, 
the fact <laughs> the fact that when an animal is showing signs of aggression or agitation and is not following commands properly they switch out the animal whether it be mid show or in a one on one interaction <laughs> and one reason I know this is because I experienced it myself when I went to SeaWorld we were swimming with dolphins and one dolphin wasn't responding to said command so they switched out the dolphins and then later once it calmed down they rotated it back in Another thing that changed was some of the safety protocol. So if uh, now the trainers are not allowed in the water with the orcas and the uh, the show, the Shamu show is not how it used to be, where they were doing tricks and all these different amazing stunts. Now it's more educational and shows, shows people the danger, yet also the beauty of the creature instead of oh, look what I can do, I can do this, I can make this animal do this. So, yeah. Basically, what I want somebody to take in from this would probably be just because... <sighs> just because you don't necessarily think a person would make an impact doesn't mean they can't even if it's something small so this is going to be a sign off from Musica Bard and I will see you guys in the next video bye bye